Hello everyone, this is Maria from Max Officio. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to film in a short yoga class here in the forest where I'm staying. I'm in France, I'm staying in a cabin in the woods. Uh, it's very peaceful, very nice out here, so I hope you enjoy the, the background, the view. Um, as always, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up at the end of it. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. All right, so we're going to start on child's pose. So <clears throat> make your way to child's pose position. Forehead down. And let's start connecting with the breath. <clears throat> Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, letting go. Seal your lips and continue inhaling and exhaling. Slowing down the breath, trying to keep it even. And beginning to connect with the sensations you got on your body, if you're feeling tension and wear. And also try to set an intention for the class, so set in your mind for it too. Make your breath a bit more active. You can do Yahi Pranayama if you're familiar with it. So constricting the back of the throat as you inhale and exhale. So the breath becomes slightly audible to you, not to others. So it's not very loud. Or you can think of connecting with your Mula Bandha, your pelvic floor, and your Udiyani Bandha, your abdominals, as you exhale and letting go on the inhale. So choose the breath that works best for you today and stay here for it. <clears throat> Excuse me, three more breaths. As you complete the next exhale, begin to come up. Let's come to four bony limb for cat and cow stretch. So inhale for cow, exhale for cat. And again. Come to neutral, take the hands to the center, bring the right arm up, inhale, exhale, thread the needle. Stay here for full breath. And wind on the inhale, release on the exhale, change sides. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, thread the needle. Left ear down, hips up, full breath. Inhale up, exhale down. All right, hands a bit more forward for puppy pose or heart melting pose and hatasana. Again, full breath here, opening your heart center. And then from here, bring your hands back a touch. Let's make our way to downward facing dog. So shake your head, pedal the feet a little bit. Begin to find a bit of movement here. Good. Keep breathing. Arm in front here, make your way to plank pose. You can do it with your knees down. Again, full breath. And then as you inhale, either cobra pose or upward facing dog, inhale, exhale. Back to downward facing dog. You're gonna come down to a seat, cross one foot over the other. You're gonna extend the right leg out, the left knee stays bent, let it drop. The foot is gonna be sole of the foot by your inner thigh. Bring your arms up and we're gonna reach forward maybe for the foot the shin, the knee, for Janusir Sasana, head to knee pose. So start sort of upright, especially if you feel stiff, inhale. And then as you exhale, maybe bend your elbows and fold, the ribs towards the thigh, as if you could bring your forehead to the knee. And 
All right, or at least Jenny from here. You're gonna bring your left leg in a bit more. Right foot comes over. Now take the left arm up and twist. You can just hug the knee or bind the elbow to the knee for half lower of the fish's pose. Stay tall, look over the shoulder. And release. We're gonna do the same on the other side. So extend the left leg, right foot goes by the inner thigh, arms up, come forward, try to connect with the foot, maybe the shin, the knee, stay long and then if you can fold as if you could take the forehead to the knee. gonna release and then bring your right leg over a bit more right left foot over the right thigh take them up and twist again you can just connect with the thigh gently or you can do the bind creating a bit of a twist breathe Alright, then from here release, extend both legs for and that's on a staff pose, stay active. Maybe flex the feet, extend the knees, pulling your quads so much that maybe the heels lift up a little bit. Take both arms up, inhale, and now we're gonna twist, exhale, right arm back, left arm forward, maybe look back, use your core. Come back to center, inhale. Over to the other side as you exhale. Come back to center, inhale and then exhale. Pashimottanasana, seated forward fold. Again, maybe your hands won't go to the feet. You can also do the big toes, again, shins, knees. And fold. All right, from here, gonna roll through the spine to make a one or back. You can do it here or support the thighs. Once you're on your back, bring the right knee, left leg down, all 10 toes flexed. Just compress with the hip to the chest. And then bring the hands to the back of the thigh, extend the knee, maybe hands here, maybe a bit higher, and then just move the foot point flex as you breathe in and out then circle the foot on one direction on the other direction maybe grab the big toe with your peace fingers otherwise you kind of stay like so if you're doing this left hand or on your left hip And then lastly, maybe lift your head up and release. Change your legs, left leg in, right leg down. Flex all 10 toes, compress the hip into the chest a little bit. As you complete the exhale, change your hands, begin to extend the knee. Maybe your hands stay here, maybe here. And you're going to start pointing and flexing the foot as you breathe in and out. Circle the foot on one direction as you continue breathing on the other direction. And then we're going to try to finish the hole in this here, or maybe second, third digit around the big toe, right hand on the hip. Hold. And finish lifting your head up for another breath. Uh, release. Great. Bring your knees to your chest for Upanasana, knees to chest pose. Then open for Ananda Balasana, happy baby. Maybe hands here, 
here, here, again, big toes, find a bit of movement. You can also stay more static if you prefer. All right, come back again to an um, Apanasana, knees to chest, and then release into Savasana. So, arms and legs relaxed. Take a deep breath in and out, just to let go of the breath. Seal your lips and return to a natural rhythm of your breath, which should be hopefully a bit slower than when we started. And then just have a few moments here to notice the changes on your body, on your mind, on your breath. Just do a very quick body scan. Just picturing how the whole body is relaxed from the toes, making our way up to the head. So toes and feet relaxed, shins, knees, thighs feeling heavy. Front and the back of the hips are also soft. The spine is melting down on the ground. The abdomen, ribs and chest are feeling soft and relaxed too. Fingers and hands soft forearms, elbows and upper arms feeling nice and heavy in contact with the earth. Collarbones, throat, the neck are relaxed. Mouth is soft and your face is soft. The lips, the cheeks, the nose, eyes, eyebrows, forehead, brow. Relax the back of your neck into the ground. Relax the whole body. Stay here for three more breaths. You could stay longer in Savasana if you wish to, but otherwise just wriggle a bit your fingers, toes. Stretch the arms, the legs, just trying to wake up the body again. Bend your knees, roll to your side, eyes closed for another breath. And then use your top hand to help you up. Come to a seat. Can be simple cross leg or sukhasana, one leg in front of the other, or different seated position, your choice. Bring your hands to prayer, close your eyes. Take a deep inhale through the nose. One more time, exhale through the mouth, letting go. You can notice the sensations on your body. Try to set an intention for the rest of your day or the next few days. And as always, have a moment to express gratitude and kindness to yourself for participating in this short class. All right, open your eyes when you're ready and to close the class as always, as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, your words and your heart. And from my heart to yours, namaste. Bow gently forward, release your arms, come up to a seat and release. Great. So this is the end of this yoga class in the forest. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon in one of my other videos. Bye bye. <music>